Hi guys, today I'm going to show you this look that I've created today. I once was desperate to use the new um, roller lash that I bought the other day. So I have compiled a video using my roller lash and some new products that I have bought. So I hope you like it. Okay, I'm going to start with the Laura Mercier primer and I'm only going to use a small amount of this. I'm just going to just spread that mainly on my T and just, oh, here, <laughs> and just underneath my eyes here. And any excess then I'll just spread just on the outer part of my cheeks. And I'm then going to take the Urban Decay Anti-Age Primer and just apply a very small amount of this again just to both lids and I'll just pat that in just towards the brow bone and then smooth out. For foundation today I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder and this is in 04 Fair and I'm just going to apply this just dotting this around the face. And I'm going to use a damp beauty blender and I'm just going to just dab that in. And then just going to take a very small second layer of this just on my problem areas, which at the moment are my chin and just around the nose. I'm just going to blend that in exactly the same way this is a light to medium foundation, but it does give you good coverage. It is buildable. I haven't used this one in a while. I'm now going to go in with my Maybelline Instant Anti Eraser Eye. <laughs> I just like to dot that underneath the eye in a V shape and just around the nose. And then I also use this over my problem areas as well and blend it in. This is slightly lighter, I am going to use this just for a slight highlight. I'm just going to apply this in between the brows on the forehead and just down the nose and blend that out using my finger. Then using a NARS multiple and this is in Cappadoce, I'm never going to say that right. I'm only going to use this today just in the cheekbone area and on the temples as well. I'm just using a Real Techniques flat contouring brush just to blend that in. set the foundation today I'm going to use the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil and I'm just tapping this on. I'm just going to go over my T area first before applying this to the rest of the face. So today I'm using a new bronzer which I can't pronounce either. Gaia Lane, please tell me how I pronounce that below. It's G-U-E-R-L-A-I-N. I know lots of you will know how to, how to say that correctly. I'm just going to use this in the usual places and don't worry I'm going to blend that out it looks quite red at the moment but I'm going to go back and buff it all in and I'm of course going to contour down my nose as I normally do just using the same bronzer just starting with the tip of the nose and this is quite pigmented so I'm only going to use a very small amount of this. I'm then going to fill in my brows as normal. I'm going to use the Soap and Glory Archery Pencil and I'm just going to run that just to reshape my brows just underneath here and bring them slightly more in and then thicken up that outer part and then setting them in place using the Maybelline Brow Drama. I'm going to use a Ben Nye blush today and I'm going to use more of a peachy shade for this look. Just placing that above the contoured area and then going to go in with the peach um, shimmer from the sleek palette and just use this to highlight along the top of the cheekbones just on the cupid's bow and just in the center of the nose there for shadow today I'm going to use the Sleek Eye Divine palette and this is in Au Naturel 601 and I'm actually going to use um, these two colours at the end here, try not to blind you, <laughs> these two colours at the end here um, and then the lightest colour as well. So I'm going to start with that orange based colour and on a large flat brush I'm just going to take that over the whole of the lid. I'm then going to use a rounder fluffy brush and take that same colour just into the socket slightly, just 
to create a deeper effect. The more concentration of colour just makes it look that little bit darker. And then going back to that first brush I was using and taking that shimmery colour just across the lid on top of that orange that we applied. And then just using that white that we saw just on the tear duct area. And I'm also going to take that just underneath the brow bone here. And then I'm going to mix the orange and the sparkle together and I'm just going to apply that underneath the lower lash line, just on the outer part. Okay, I've just changed over cameras because my battery's gone and this one's going to go soon too, so I'm going to rush this slightly. And then taking the Rodeal Smoky Eye Pen in brown, just on the outer part underneath here. I'm going to smudge that with the fingers. I'm going to take my usual L'Oreal liner on top. And then using the new Benefit Roller Lash Mascara, and I purchased this just the other day because I saw so many YouTubers on about this. This is the first time that I've used it. Using it. Um, I've just used it on the other eye and I'm pretty impressed. I like the bouncy wand because it's, I don't know, it sort of bounces off my lashes when I apply it. If you've got it, you'll know exactly what I mean. And it's really good. I like it, guys. First impressions. It separates, it lengthens. And I've applied two layers to this one, so it's definitely thickening with a second layer. On to lips then guys, I'm going to take the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheek Pencil and I'm actually going to fill in the whole of the lip with this. This is a really lovely nude colour. I'm then going over this with Charlotte Tilbury Bond Girl and I'm not going to apply a heavy layer of this, I'm just going to pat this in. And then I'm going to finish with Soap and Glory Sexy Mother Packer. And this is in Charm Offensive. I'm just going to apply a small, um, what am I trying to say, guys? Uh, a small amount of this and blend it in with my finger. And that is the finished look guys, thank you so much for watching, um, I can't re wait to read your comments below and please give this th video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and please let me know what kind of other makeup looks you would like me to do um, and if there are any other videos that you would like to see because I am on a little bit of a um, mission writing down some different types of videos to get me inspired again. So um, anyway, thank you for watching and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye!